Hey everyone, Jim T. Graham with rcgroups.com, and I'm super excited to have Mike from Robart with us again. Hello to Mike. Hey Jim, what's going on, bud? Good to see you again. Mike makes great videos of his own throughout the warehouse that you should keep an eye out for. But today we're going to talk about a specific thing, the uh, kind of a sexy part of scale aviation, main gear conversion retracts. Yeah, so we're actually not going to talk about the conversion kit today, Jim. What we're going to talk about is one of our staples, which is well, we could talk. We'll talk about the conversion kit here in a little bit, okay. uh, because uh, that's going to come in real handy for some of the the modelers out there that have got a legacy kit. Um, so, like, for example, the old world models. I don't know if you remember world models. We did a lot of our 630 series gear, okay? We did a lot of these 630 series like, in, for world models and some of these other ones. This 630 series, this is one of our staples. We were talking last week about, hey, let's talk about one of the staple landing gear that you guys have, and this is it. We offer this in a 90 degree, which is our 630RS for pneumatic or the 630RSE for electric. And then we also offer it in an 85, which I've actually got on the, on the demo over here. When we flip cameras, we'll actually demo out the 631, which is an 85 degree angle of deployment. Okay. And what you've just said and what I've confused is great for all the, the viewers to uh, be aware of. There are many variants of this 630. So make sure you know the 630 that you uh, want before you hit that add to cart button. Yeah. And then we also make a conversion kit. So if you have a pneumatic and you want to go to electric, that's the conversion kit that you were show that we we're, that you just had up, which Got is it. that conversion, uh, so if you do have an old pneumatic and you want to go electric, or if you want to go the other way, if you want to go electric to pneumatic, you just got to call us and we can put together a kit for you. A lot of times when we go from pneumatic to electric, a lot of times it's just easier to send it in and we would do it here for you. Okay, because there's a few more tweaks and things of that nature uh, on the uh, from going from the electric to pneumatic sometimes. Sometimes it's it's a cakewalk. Sometimes there's a little bit more to it. Okay. Okay. And the one, the, the model number we're looking at today is 630. 630RS. RS. 630RSE. 631RS. And then the 631RSE. And I'll share these two first there you just go, so you Jim. know what it looks like there on the page so uh oops sorry these ones here so you'll see the top is that 90 degree so that 90 degree is the angle of deployment and then the the uh, the 631 is going to be the 85 angle of deployment okay uh so these are for planes weighing in at let me get to it real quick oops sorry about that I'm uh, showing 12, 24 12, pounds. Yep, oh, 12 sorry. to 24 pounds. All right. Uh, yeah. It's a very, it's a center loading. So if you've talked to, uh, talked to me on the phone over the years, you'll see that I, uh, what I'll talk about, like a center loading versus a, a side loading. I'm going to just jump my camera over and that'll be, make more sense. Okay. So when we talk about, this is a center loading gear. Your strut goes goes up into the center of the gear. Okay, that's the center, as opposed to a side loader. Which let's talk about those next week, maybe Jim. It's another big okay. staple of ours. It's this. It's our six twenty two series or six twenties. Okay, um, those are side loaders, and but these are your centers. Uh, they're real beautifully strong gear. We've made a ton of these for OEMs over the years for different kit manufacturers. These will take a half inch robo strut. So your trunnion gear is bored out to accept a half inch. You've got two set screws in your trunnion to lock it down. Uh, 
And then, so you'll just tighten those down. Make sure you're using your Zap Blue thread locker on these once you get them in place. All right. If you would like to use a 7 16 rubble strut, you'll have to use the sleeve adapter. And this is part number 660SA. Got it. And where's my little pointer? What are you doing with my little pointer? Here it is. So this groove right here in the sleeve adapter. Ah, okay. That you want to line up with your set screws so that your set screws are pushing on the strut and they're not pushing on your sleeve adapter. That's, That's awesome. A, so that keeps you from having to grind or anything that yeah. gives you a place to go. Yep. It goes right through there. All right. Uh, these are available in pneumatic or electric. These ones here are our uh, 631s. So these are our 85 degree. Okay. All right. Um, pulling up. A, and just so you can see it a little bit better. Right here. So as you can see, the angle, I'll square this up to uh, square it up to that top line there. And so you can see there's a, there's this, the angle back on um, here. That's that 85 angle uh, degree of deployment. So when you come up into the retracted position, it's completely flat. Got All right. It. These are available in electric. When you're setting up your control box, you want them on type B. So for big, you have the type, you have your switches right here. You want to run these on B. Uh, there we go. And nice and quiet. Full lockout right. uh, uh, on the retracted or the deployed position. And, man, they just look quality. Thank you. We greatly appreciate that. We work hard at that. And nice and solid on the deployed position. All right. Uh, Dimensions-wise, the reason why I want to go over dimensions on these is it's very common for these to be used for all sorts of different kits. And we do have the dimension drawings on, on the 630 and the 631, but it's a real basic uh, design here. I'm going to pop, actually, you know, I'll move this out of the way. I'll get the pneumatics out. All right, so your distance from, make sure I'm in, my, in the shot here, get this centered up for you. Let me get my drawing. So you're talking from here to here across the rails is two inches. Mounting hole to mounting hole along here, inch and three quarter. And then it's two and a quarter right here. So it's a really basic, it, it's nice and easy to get in, to figure out whether this you're going to fit into your plane. It's an inch and a quarter mounting hole to mounting hole this way. Uh, so it, we're not looking at really funky uh, measurements or anything. They fit into a lot of planes. It makes it really easy for if you're doing a scratch build or even if you're doing a, a, a kit build that you can get these to fit into your plane because you're not saying, all right, well, we got to do um, you know some funky measurement in here or, or a metric measurement or anything of that nature. Okay? Got it. Yeah. So, so that's what we've got for you today. The 630 and the 631 RS and RSE. Awesome. And I want to say we have people on RC groups that will be interested in this, but uh, I think everyone at Flying Giants, and it, and if you're watching this on YouTube and you don't know what I'm talking about, you can go below and find links. But this mm -hmm. is uh, for Flying Giants, guys. And correct me if I'm wrong, but if somebody says, hey, I think this is what I need, but I'm not sure, they can always call Robart and uh, talk to someone? Yeah, they can. They can give us a call, 630-584-7616. Uh, and you can email us the pictures too. So if you gave us an email, say with dimensions or like a ruler next to it, a lot of times uh, we can figure out what gear you have, unless it was a real funky one that was built for you know, one of the different kit manufacturers that are out there. 
Yeah. So I would urge you to do that if you have any question. And once again, Robart probably made in the USA. Mm -hmm. And uh, Brother Mike is at the helm over there. Man, we appreciate you taking time to talk to us and show us this stuff. Hey, man, it's great talking to you. And we're excited to be part of RC Groups and Flying Giants. We appreciate everything you're doing for the hobby. And we're excited. We'll talk about the, the 620 series next week which is the same weight class, but it's a side loading gear and you'll really see the difference of what we're talking about. Great. And if, and if you're out there and you're like, yeah, but what about this thing? Just put that in the uh, uh, discussion. And I always get notifications when somebody replies to any videos that we have. And we would love to talk about something that you're wanting to learn about. Mm -hmm. So with that said, Mike, uh, thanks again for your time, and thanks to all of you for watching our videos. Be sure to hit all the buttons down there, especially the like button. You got it. Thanks. Thank you so much. Have a good one, guys. All right. Jim T. Graham, RC Groups, Mike at Robart.